हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द ड्रेस माई क्राफ्ट चैनल क्रिएटिव डिजाइनर कनिका जैन दिस साइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी शाल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द ड्रेस माई क्राफ्ट मोटिव शीट्स एंड डाई कट्स एंड लेटर इन द वीडियो एज वेल आई एल बी शोइंग हाउ यू कैन मेक दिस ब्यूटिफुल ऑनवेल अप यूजिंग द ड्रेस माई क्राफ्ट मोटिव शीट्स सो यू मेक श्योर यू वॉच द फुल वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैव एन सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट एड विद वीडियो so here i have some of the sample cards so this is one of the cards which i made using the motif sheets this is another card which i made using the motif sheets here i have these die cuts and the motif sheets so i'll be showing up in detail what all these die cuts look like and these motif sheets look like so this is the winded saga die cut and it is a pack of 42 pieces and this is in the coordination of the paper pack and you can get their motif sheet as well so this is the magical unicorn die cut and it is a pack of 49 motifs so i'll just open the magical unicorn ones first and these are the pre cut die cuts so if you are taking up the motif sheets you need to fussy cut them but if you are taking these so these are very handy and ready to use so this saves up your time very much also these die cuts are very versatile as you can create your envelopes cards album and so many other products as well using these as these just add on to your project and makes your project look more beautiful and whenever you are using the dress my craft pattern pads so you can get these motif sheets or the die cuts as these will add on to the beauty of your project link to all these craft supplies is listed down in the description box so you can check that out now let's move on to the vintage saga die cut So these die cuts are in coordination to the Vintage Saga pattern pack from Just My Craft and if you want you can get their motif sheets as well. I love fussy cutting so I just get their motif sheets do fussy cutting by myself but sometimes when you're running out of time so you can get the die cuts and these are just very handy and you don't have to fussy cut it and you can see how beautiful these die cuts look like. I hope you're enjoying this video then do hit the like button and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel so you never miss any update from our side So these die cuts are on 240 GSM paper So now let's move on to the motif sheets and see how these look and then I shall share how you can make your own envelope very quickly using these motif sheets so this is the dress my craft hydrangea lawns motif sheet this is a pack of two sheets a4 size 240 gsm paper it has 98 motifs and this is to the coordinating pattern pack which is hydrangea lawns Some motifs are being missed as I have used this motif sheet in my previous videos. So here you can see how beautiful these sheets are and can you see this beautiful butterflies it has you can fussy cut them and add on to your cards your albums and this has these sentiments which are just amazing so you can add on these sentiments to your cards or albums and make them look more beautiful. So now moving on to the next sheet this is the tiny mini motif sheet it has 112 motifs with it This is to the coordinating tiny mini pattern pack and it has these floral arrangements and here you can see these have the leaves as well and then on the second sheet they have birds as well as they have these sentiments so you can just use these and create your beautiful projects out of just these motif sheets you can check out the description box for all these craft supplies so now i have this dots and stripes motif sheet it has 72 motifs within this so this is to the coordinating pattern pack which is dots and stripes So here you can see so many colorful butterflies you can see the birds it has in the motif sheet and on the second sheet they coordinate to these floral arrangements the leaves as well as some sentiments which you can add on 
If you are creating projects using Just My Craft supplies, do tag us on social media. We would love to see your projects. So now let's move on to the next motif sheet. So this is the charming baby girl motif sheet. It has 63 motifs within it and it is to the coordinating charming baby girl pattern pack and using this sheet itself I'll be creating the envelope. It has got the beautiful motifs it, uh, related to baby girl. It has got some amazing sentiments on the back side here you can see and it has also got elements related to baby girl so it enhances your project so using this we'll be creating the envelope now moving on to the next sheet here i have floral symphony motif sheet it has got 83 motifs and it is to the coordinating floral symphony pattern pack so this motif sheet has got some doilies, butterflies and it has got this beautiful girl and here you can see I have made this card using this same girl and it has got lace pattern, the sentiment which I have used here and then from the second sheet it has got some floral arrangements butterflies leaves as well as the doily so the missing two butterflies i have used here and it has got the beautiful doilies so for the background i have used the dress my craft stencil in the design sun rays so now let's start making up this envelope so for this envelope i'll be using the dress my craft supplies so i have created this envelope base using the scoreboard and on the back side i have used this daisy border dye from dress my craft then i took another cardstock and distressed it this is a little bit smaller in size now i'll be using the dress my craft scoring board and i'll be creating textures so i'm just placing over this distressed cardstock on my scoring board and with each scoring line i'm just simply going to score it and it will create a very nice vertical line texture here you can see how beautiful the base texture has come out to be now i've just applied the red tacky tape on the background and now i'm just simply pressing it over using my ergo bone folder from just my craft as it is very compulsory that your adhesive sh should have been sticked very well so now i'm just placing it over like this So now it's all done. Now I'll be taking up this charming baby girl motif sheet and I'll be cutting out this motif from the first sheet and from the second sheet I'll be trimming up this motif and I'll make a shaker element with this making a window. So I'll just trim up the edges and I'll cut the inside making a window and then I'll just simply other the dress my craft acetate sheet and i'll use the dress my craft 3d foam tape so here you can see i have done fussy cutting of this motif and i have created this element using the acetate sheet now i'll be just placing it over like this but before that i'll be adding this dress my craft flower pearls so for the shaker i'll be adding the golden one but this motif exactly fits into the shaker so i'll be trimming it off and i'll be making this motif like this now i will be adding the golden flower pearls as the shaker element and here i have used the 3d foam tape from dress my craft itself and then i'll just close off the shaker element just simply stick this over to the base and then I'll 
have added the girl as well now i'm just placing over and decorating the envelope using some random elements from my stash taken out the sentiment from the same motif sheet itself now to decorate it for the more i'm using the pink pastel sequence from just my craft itself as it is related to baby girl so pink sequence would go perfectly and then i added the golden and the white pearls flower pearls and randomly added it over my background so here is the complete look of our envelope i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you soon until next time till then happy crafting